Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this video, we will talk about different wireless security and protocol that are used in wireless network. We all connect to wireless network with our laptop, smartphones or tablet and to connect to the wireless network with our devices, you have to select a name and enter a password. Now wireless network can just be open and can be connected without entering any password. So that means anybody can simply select the name and join it. However, in today's world, in majority of cases, Wi-Fi will be secured and requires a password to connect. Now, there are several different protocols that are being used for securing a Wi-Fi network. So let's start with the secured protocol WEP, Wired Equivalent Privacy. This protocol was developed in 1999 and it is the earliest wireless security protocol used for securing wireless network. So as the name implies, it provides same security to wireless network as it did to wired network. This didn't work long because it was found that 40 bit encryption key that WEP used was vulnerable and not secured. And that's why it was easily hackable. So that's why today WEP is no longer used and even modern router now don't even have an option for WEP anymore. So better secured protocol was needed for wireless network and that brings the WPA. WPA stands for Wi-Fi Protected Access. WPA is another wireless security protocol that was developed to overcome the limitation of WEP. WPA is much better than WEP and this is because it uses a stronger encryption method called TKIP which stands for Temporal Key Integrity Protocol. And TKIP dynamically changes its keys as it's being used and this ensures data integrity. Even though WPA is more secure than WEP, then to today WPA is out outdated because TKIP does have some known vulnerability that and that brings us to WPA2. WPA2 was developed to provide even stronger security than WPA. And it does by acquiring the use of stronger encryption method while WPA uses TKIP for encryption which is known to have some limitation. WPA2 uses AES asymmetric encryption algorithm which makes it strong enough to resist a brute force attack. So now when you log into the Wi-Fi configuration page and you go to the Wi-Fi security setting you can find different security protocols to choose and protect your Wi-Fi network. So here on the left side of the screen, I have kept an example from an old router and you can see WEP, WPA and WPA2 protocols that we discuss. Since this router is old and still has WEP option, however, the new router on the right side is the latest one, won't even have option as WEP because WEP is weak and outdated and is no longer used. You can notice that both this router has both the options WPA plus WPA2 or even WPA WPA2 mix mode. So basically this option enables WPA and WAPA2 at the same time so it will use both TKIP and AES security. Now the reason for this option is for compatibility purpose because some old devices prior to 2006 may not be compatible with using AES encryption which is used by WPA2. And so these old devices will connect to an older WPA2 protocol but at the same modern devices will connect to WPA2. Now here question arises why not just choose the mixed option all the time since it is most compatible to all the devices. Well, you can do this, but the problem is in addition to using AES, it is also using TKIP. Since TKIP is not strong as AES, you will make your network more vulnerable and weak. However, if all your devices are latest, then the best option to use is WPA2, which will use only AES. Now, the generation of a wireless network is WPA3. WPA3 was introduced in the year 2018 and according to the official website www.wifi.org, WPA3 provides cutting-edge security protocols to the market. It adds new feature to simplify Wi-Fi security and enable most robust authentication. 
it receives increased protection from password guessing attempts. Now so far we discussed few password protection security protocol but there is another password protective security method that doesn't require you to type in a password and this method is called as WPS. WPS stands for Wi-Fi Protected Setup. WPS was designed for people who know little about the wireless network. It was designed to make it as easy as possible for devices to join a secure wireless network. So here on the screen you can see we have a WPS configuration page for our router and there are a couple of different methods that are used with the WPS but the most common method is push button method. So with this method you will just press a couple of buttons and that you will be connected. So most routers today will have a WPS button and even lots of network printer and other networking devices will have a software or a physical WPS button. So let's say you want to connect this wireless printer to your wireless network. Let's assume that you have a wireless printer and you want to connect this wireless printer to your wireless network. So you will just simply push the button on your router and within two minutes you will be pressing the WPS button on your printer. And your printer will be connected to your Wi-Fi router within a few seconds. Even you can use the method too if you want. Like let's say if your client has a WPS pin number. So you just enter that pin number into the field below and within a few seconds it will connect. So WPS is the easiest way to connect to a wireless network. Lots of manufacturers has their wireless product with WPS. It makes their customer easier to join to their wireless network. There is one more method called as access control and in some router it is also called as a MAC filtering. And using this option you can either allow or block devices from joining your network. Every network adapter has a MAC address. MAC address is a hexadecimal number that uniquely identifies each device on a network. Using access control you can either allow or block access by using device MAC address. When a device is blocked, it will only be able to get an IP address from a router but won't be able to communicate with any other device or nor will be able to connect to an internet. So access control is just additional layer of security in addition to your Wi-Fi password. So my friends, today we understood uh, about the WEP, WPA2, WPA and other security protocols and encryption techniques and along with the limitation why the another uh, protocol was introduced what were the limitations of the previous one if you have any doubts please feel free to comment me in the comment box thank you so much for, for watching my videos if you like my video please do share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel see you in the next video